Tuesday, this is Jen. If you guys are new to my channel, Track Tuesday is a series where I review a product or a range of products that you guys have voted for the day before and it goes up every Tuesday or Wednesday depending on where you are in the world. Most of the products I review are Korean products because I live in Korea and a lot of you guys are interested in Korean cosmetics. And this week was a toss up between Seol Hwasu's Perfecting Cushion and um, what was the other one? Uh, the Frosting's Skincare Line which is the one that has the makeup fridge and this whole hustle perfecting cushion is the one that won by quite a bit this time so a lot of you guys seem to be very interested in this cushion so I will be doing really brief comparisons with some of the other key Korean cushions out there on the market and I hope this comes in useful for you guys so let's begin with the review. So if you happen to be wondering what this is, the Seoul Hustle Perfecting Cushion is basically one of those cushion foundation products that Korean brands have come out with. It's basically like a compact that comes like this and all of them are basically the same size. It comes with a full-sized mirror and a puff like this and then it's got a lid that you open up and it's got the cushion inside soaked in foundation and they usually all have sunscreen in it and whitening properties, moisturizing properties. There are very few matte cushions out there on the market. Oh my gosh, I just realized I have no rings on my hands today. What is going on? <laughs> anyway, so yes, you can usually take out this little bit here and pop it out so that you can put in your refills when you run out of products. I'll just show you guys how that's done, which is handy because you kind of do end up using them quite quickly and they're really easy to just pop back in afterwards. I feel so naked because I have no rings on today. <laughs> so weird. Um, and if you're wondering about Seoul Hustle, it is a high-end Korean brand. Um, I'd say that it is situated a little bit higher than Hera. And Seoul Hustle also specializes in skincare products. Their skincare products are known to be really excellent. And I recently did like a vlog of Seoul Hustle's event where they did some really artistic exhibition using their bottles and fragrances and things like that. So. If you'd like to see that vlog, I'll make sure to link it down below. This cushion foundation comes in this box here and it's called the Even Fair Perfecting Cushion and it contains SPF of 50 plus or PA triple plus and the one that I have is in number 13, light pink. The price is actually 60,000 won, which is around $60. So yes, it is quite pricey. They usually come in four different shades and it contains 15 grams of product and it comes with another refill which looks like this and it's airtight sealed you can keep these and use it for um, one year since opening so the Sora Sword Perfecting Cushion is a really gorgeous cream packaging with shiny gold lining and if I compare it with other key ones on the market that I've done reviews on this is the Iope one so as you can see they're the same size this one is the Laneige BB which is meant to be a little bit better for oilier skin types and then also my favorite Hera UV Mist Cushion, which looks like that. So as you can see, they're all the same size. And I would say that this Horasu is a little bit more, um, a little bit more travel friendly. It is slightly smaller than all of these. Um, the Ayope one is the most bulkiest. And this Horasu has like nice rounded edges and it's ever so slightly smaller. But the refills all fit together, so if you purchase one of these guys, you can just get refills and slip it into whatever container and it shouldn't really matter. So that's that. And now for the product and how it actually fares on the skin. Okay, so this product is supposed to be a multi-cushion foundation that gives you flawlessly healthy resilience and radiance with perfect coverage and long-lasting hydration. It features a flexible film-fixing polymer which forms a thin protective barrier on your skin to leave your skin flawless and smooth for a long time and I think definitely it does do that so tick. Contains apricot seed herbal moisturizer that promotes skin resilience which means like elasticity and tight tautness and leaves skin fully moisturized all day. You're meant to use the puff to release an appropriate amount and pat over your face and you can also build up the coverage. So this product claims to help with anti-wrinkling whitening and UV protection and I would say that this is probably my favorite cushion foundation out of all of the ones that I have. I'd say that the Hera UV Mist Cushion and this Horasu one is on par with each other in my book. So why is that? 
Okay, the reason is that the Sonos Perfecting Cushion, first of all, it fits really well with my skin, ta skin tone, skin tan, and it brightens up my skin complexion, making it look really glowy, but it's not sticky, so it um, kind of dries down to a satin finish, so it does dry down, and it has the least amount of transfer, and it also stays on, like stays put for a very, very long time, and looks flawless for a really long time as well. The Hera UV Mist Cushion it gives the most gorgeous finish, but it gives you a little bit more radiance than this one. The Sora also actually has a very satinish finish like I said before and so I think it just fares a little bit better under weather, even under humid weather. It gives you that kind of radiant skin tone that you see Korean celebrities with um, and it's kind of like you don't have to even wear highlighter with this product. And you can also dust over a little light amount of powder to set it in place and it stays even longer throughout the day. It is moisturizing and then it just sort of like traps it into your skin and my complexion just looks really healthy and really beautiful whenever I'm wearing this um, product even though the rest of my makeup is virtually the same as the way that I usually do it Oppa always compliments me my husband Oppa and he always says that um, my foundation or something about my makeup looks so good that day and he doesn't realize it but it usually is because of my skin um, having said that Hera and Sorosu if you guys don't know they all are under the same branch as Iope and Laneige of a cosmetics company called Amore Pacific. So the same company makes them all. Hanya. Hanya. Does it smell like Hanya? No. No. Come and smell it. I like that. Musky smell. You think it's musky? It's musky and it smells like some sort of candy. Something else that I really love about this cushion foundation is that it's really buildable. I'd say that it gives you full coverage once you place on about three layers. And for me, that's really good because I have spots on my cheeks which I want to cover and most foundations don't cover it up. I usually have to use a concealer underneath. But this one actually covers all of them and um, at the same time it looks so natural and beautiful. It really doesn't look like I've over caked my face at all. So I just absolutely love it. I'm just going to quickly go through my thoughts on on the comparison of these, all three of these. So you guys know which one to pick for your own skin. Um, first of all, the Iope one. I've done a full review on this. Basically what I said about this was that it's got a beautiful look to your skin, but it doesn't stay on very well. It transfers, if you accidentally touch your face, it leaves a mark. Um, and it feels a little bit like you've got something on your face so it's not a very nice pleasant feeling but the finish is really beautiful and glowy and radiant. The Laneige BB Cushion pore control version is um, meant to be really good for oily skin types or skin types that have large pores and lots of secretion but it does give you really good coverage and um, it does dry down to a satin finish as well. Very similar to this hot oil one. And also the smell is stronger. I can't really describe the scent of it, but it's it's quite strong. The Hera UV Mist Cushion is one of my favorites, as you guys know. But I would definitely say that this hot oil one gives you a lot more buildable coverage that still looks very natural, even though you've got many layers on. The Hera UV Mist Cushion is very buildable too, but it's not completely full coverage. I'd say it's about mid to full coverage. Iope and Laneige's BB Cushions have the same sunscreen protection level as Horasu at 50, and Hera is the only one that has 34, so it's a little bit lower. So in general, um, Horasu definitely wins out of all of them. And obviously, if I had tried this cushion before I did my best recommended Korean products video, then I would definitely have put this in. I probably would have replaced Edu House. So obviously. Obviously this Horasu cushion wins on longevity, coverage, even the packaging is most portable out of them all. But what are the cons to it? Okay, so first of all, obviously it's very expensive, being $60, but if you think about it, it contains 30 grams of product. And if you compare that with an actual foundation, they usually come with about 30 mils of product. For example, my favorite NARS She Glow foundation has 30 mils of product, and the price is roughly the same, NARS is a little bit more expensive. So if you think about that, I think it's quite worth it. Cushions do tend to dry up a little bit faster than normal foundations simply because of the way that it is just designed that you open it up and it's exposed to air. So that is really why you should always be cleansing your puff at least like once or twice a week or fortnight. And if you want a quick pointer, I wash my sponges using a little bit of antibacterial hand wash or dishwashing liquid mixed together with my Beauty Blender cleansing soap, which is amazing. Seriously, the best thing ever. So the second downside to this product, I think this is probably the most significant downside is the fact that even though it's so moisturizing and so long-lasting after about six 
hours. If you have any patches on your skin, those areas tend to be highlighted and it becomes dry and patchy, which is very strange because it is moisturizing. But um, just another light layer and touch up of this product will fix that up. So it's not a big problem, but it does tend to do that. So it was surprising for me because you guys all know how many skincare products I use on my skin, right? But the fact that it did patch up, I think it does show that if any of you guys are even the slightest bit kind of dehydrated on your skin, you just keep that in mind. But as I said, you can touch it up and it will cover it up. Yeah, I'm so glad that I did try it out. And I think it's definitely the cushion that I am wearing the most these days. So I give this guy a double thumbs up and I would definitely, definitely repurchase this one. If I really had to get rid of all of my BB cushions and foundation cushions, I would choose this one with the Hera UV Mist Cushion. So that's it for this review video. I really hope that it was helpful for you guys. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you also have product requests for me to include in next week's Try it Tuesday vote for me to review, make sure to leave it down below. And also leave your comments and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye guys, love you.